And the Turks and Caicos leaders are calling for more to be done to address the rise in violent crime. Our One Caribbean News, DeAndre Hamilton reports. As the Turks and Caicos battles with the issue of violent crime, Chairman of the People's Democratic Movement, Ezra Taylor, is calling on the government to take bold and transformative action to prevent and suppress the crime situation. Speaking at a press conference on April 19th, Taylor said every citizen, resident, and visitor in the TCI is entitled to a fundamental right to life, liberty, and security. As a result, he outlined several initiatives that the government should consider implementing to curb crime. To assist with the prevention and reduction of crime, there must be serious consideration of the following whilst a long-term plan is implement implemented. Reintroduction of the tourism policing units to increase visibility and engender an environment of safety among our visitors. Waived by executive order, the procurement process to acquire additional patrol vehicles and mobile police stations for the Royal Tux and Caicos Islands Police Force immediately. Reopen the substations in Blue Hills Five Keys to improve response times, increase police presence within these communities. Taylor also encouraged the government to introduce a task force to deal with ammunition at the country's ports. Allocate funding for a national rewards system to increase the likelihood for collection of information that will lead to the apprehension of suspects and intelligence gathering. Improve street lighting in all communities throughout the Texan Caicos, primarily in our tourist hotspots. Introduce a multi-agency task force to focus on firearms, ammunition and narcotics detection at our ports of entry. The chairman criticized the government's silence about the crime increase, noting that the people of the Turks and Caicos need to know how they plan to tackle the situation. DeAndre Hamilton reporting.